Happy Wednesday. Thanks for clicking to WYTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki. It's been a little bit of a dreary mid part of our week here. Lots of clouds today. Those will start to thin out a little bit overnight, giving us a chance for a little patchy fog. And what I'm watching in the central plains will be our next storm system that first sends some clouds to the valley. Rain chances will climb again as we get to the end of the week. So as I mentioned, as the clouds break a little overnight, chance for patchy fog. This is the visibility outlook showing you how far you can see and notice those visibility abilities dropping through eastern Ohio and western PA. We'll have that chance for fog to start the day, but it won't stick around too long. We're looking at a window for a little bit of sunshine here for the start of our Thursday. It will be a nice day overall, so you can spend time outdoors. Tree pollen will be high. If you do need to uh, tend to the yard, you want to try and do that on Thursday. Dry conditions throughout the day as temperatures rise toward the upper 60s for afternoon highs, so a little warmer for us. Now let's talk about when that rain moves in. As Again, as we start the day tomorrow, I do expect our lows at about mid 40s. Fog possible in the morning, sunshine late morning, early afternoon, but clouds increasing through the afternoon as we become overcast again. Our temps rising toward the upper 60s there. Now, rain chances start to climb into the late evening hours Thursday. We could see a couple of sprinkles or a few passing showers late into the evening, but rain chances will really be ramping up overnight into Friday morning. I expect to start Friday with some scattered showers around the valley during the morning hours. That includes morning commute early and late late morning and then heading into the afternoon. We could see a few breaks here or there, but we won't be done with the rain. We'll continue to watch for scattered pockets of showers working through the valley and even a chance for a couple rumbles of thunder through the afternoon and evening. Friday night, well, we'll still have showers around. In fact, for Saturday, I do expect the start of our weekend. We'll have some rain around to kick things off. But as this storm system starts to pull away, we'll be looking for those showers tapering off into our Saturday evening and then Sunday. Nice weather returning and this is a nice pattern setting up for next week. I expect several pretty nice days and temperatures turning much warmer. So some weather to look forward to in that seven day outlook next 24 hours. Fog is the only thing on our hassle factors list. We'll see that chance for patchy fog about 44 degrees for your low into tomorrow. Well, we warm to about 67, a warmer day, some sun, but clouds will increase during the afternoon into the evening. That's ahead of the storm system that brings wet weather as we get to the end of the work week. More rain around on Friday. Friday, a chance for a thunderstorm in there. Saturday also looking at scattered showers at least through the first half of the day. Rain chances will start to dwindle into Saturday evening and then a nice start to the or nice end of the weekend. I should say Mother's Day on Sunday. We're going to see a little bit of sun and temps warming back to the mid 60s after they drop a little on Friday and Saturday and next week. That's the part of the forecast to smile about highs around 70 on Monday and then approaching 80 degrees for highs as we come up on the middle of next week, looking at a stretch of dry weather with plenty of sun.